When you're sitting at home wanting something to do, let Evansville Podcast find it for you. We're here to talk about events in Evansville, and I've got two uh, expert event people with me, Dr. Corey Edwards. Esquire. Esquire. Uh, Dr. Adam Grove. You can just call me Professor. Professor Adam Grove. Apologize. <laughs> uh, my notes are wrong. Wikipedia is off, I guess. Um, yeah, we're going to go through some days and find out what is going on in Evansville this week. And we figured we'd help out everyone who needs to know something in the winter times, for sure. It's like, may yeah, not, it's may not be aware out. of things that are going on. So, And we're going to do this every week. We're going we're gonna to do gonna this. It's going to be a service. It's going to be a thing. Yeah. And we, I want to hash, I want to, we're creating a new hashtag. Yep. Hashtag E V V E N T S events with two V's. Events. 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 No, it's events. Events. Yeah. So do it. It'll make sense. E V V ints. So anyone can use this if you're promoting your event, hashtag it with events and hopefully make, we'll yeah. make a thing. It'll be a Twitter thing. Yeah. As the kids say. Yep. And yep. then um, the idea, is that we're going to all give you one thing a day. So you leave here, 21 options. It's a lot of things. On something to do. Yep. So no more excuses. Right. Nothing to do around here. That was quick math, Corey. Yeah. Seven he times wrote, he three. Wrote it down. He, wrote it down. he wrote it down. <laughs> it checks out. It checks out. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's hit it up. Let's just get it going here. And Monday. And so how we'll do it is it'll be Monday through Saturday. Monday through Sunday? Monday through Sunday, because we're recorded on Sundays, and I'll, it'll be out Monday morning, so hopefully there'll be nothing more Monday morning yeah, on these. I, did, I picked a Monday <laughs> evening, activity. Yeah, I, yeah, me too. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll continue that trend. But it'll be out at latest Monday morning. And I just want to say one thing. Hmm. I'm not going to just come on here and say, go to Doc's every night. Right. So I, And I don't want to be that. I don't ever want to. Like, I want you to go to Doc's every day. So I'm just going to say that at the beginning of every episode. Yes. I'm not going to tell you about anything unless it's really special to do at Doc's. So I'm not going to be some corporate shill. I'm going to tell you to go other places. Right. But no, that means you can also eat at Doc's later, earlier. I know that. You know that. The weirdness is out of the way. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. We're all concerned. Okay. Which leads into, if you want to go first yes. for Monday. <laughs> I'll go first on Monday. So 7 p.m. at Doc's. <laughs> Uh, the NCAA football championship, uh, Alabama versus Georgia, is happening this Monday, and Docs, I assume, is showing it. Oh, yeah. And there'll be $5 burgers. Oh, very yeah. nice. And, and the best chicken wings in Indiana. They're good. Whoa. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They are very good, yeah. actually. <laughs> I need to talk to you about something after this. Uh, oh. Concerning wings. So who's your pick for the game? I, I know nothing about sports. Uh, Georgia. Really, Georgia? Why Al- not? And I'll go Al- with Georgia, Alabama, because it's that's they it seem to do that. But Georgia, that'd be great. I'm going to a different bar. Yeah, for my Monday night. Okay, because you know not everybody wants to go watch football. Sure. And so, and I like these things because I've seen people do them. I've never done them. 7 p.m. at Casey's Timeout Lounge Paint Night, where they have that little paint. Everybody paints the same thing. They have yeah. the instructor. You don't drinking? bring anything. You just bring money. And you have a little painting class, paint a little thing. And Monday at timeout, best night to go there because you get Lachelle and Jeannie bartending that night. Sweet. They're two of my faves in town. Yeah. So that's where I'm going Monday. Perfect. Awesome. And all day Monday, Penny Lane, it's their customer appreciation day, so they're having free coffee. Oh, free nice. coffee. So so I guess no, no caveats. No caveats. Just, uh, I guess it hmm. said they had a good year in 2017. They're hoping to roll that into the next year, so... Custom Ryan coffee. Bennett, that scoundrel. <laughs> free coffee. So I guess we do have a Monday morning. <laughs> well, it's but all it day. Like, yeah, but it long, is all day. Hell, no, yeah. It goes all day, all night? It goes, it goes all day. the entire time they're open? 7 to 6, right? 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's awesome. So, yeah. Because coffee in the afternoon is pretty good, too. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Coffee's, Coffee's always day. good. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Look at this go. Monday. That's done. a good Monday. What you, like a sound effect, or like a sh- like a, the flipping yeah, of the calendar. Is, the- is that what it was? <laughs> What that sound like? I don't know. Okay, how about this? How about this? <laughs> I, I can I can use it. Okay, we'll try it. We'll get some feedback. 
So well, now it feels like Tuesday now. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. I don't know how you feel Man, out warm. there. It's a little listening. warmer today, but not, yeah. not completely. It's going to be warm. really warm tomorrow. Yes. I'm excited Wednesday about tomorrow. Like but, well, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Well, you want to take off on Yeah, Tuesday? Tuesday's easy. Tuesday's easy because that's my night where I don't close. So I go to the movies on Tuesday because movie season, kind of a little preemptive. We're going to do another Oscar thing so I get to see all these movies. Yep. So here are your options. I don't know which part of town you're going to be on. 715 West Side, see The Shape of Water. Or 730 East Side, see The Disaster Artist. I saw The Disaster Artist. It's awesome. Is it? It is hey. awesome. I'm, I'm really. It is say, awesome. Yeah, we'll be talking about James Franco on the uh, Oscar preview show. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, so nice. go see that. That's what you should do on Tuesdays. Not familiar. And with I'll be at. I will be at the one on the West Side. Yeah. So you want to hang with me? Seven fifteen on Wednesday. <laughs> Shape of Water. Not familiar. It's good. Cool. It's good. Well, it's supposed to be good. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tuesday, what I got down is second Tuesday song night at Common Ground Kitchen. Which is in the uh, Zion Church downtown, and it goes on from six to eight. It's an acoustic uh, song event. You can just come down and jam, and sure anybody, like, anybody, yeah. So it's like an open, free, and stage? open to the public. Really, yeah. Oh, nice. Anybody can just come play. And what? What else is there? Food? Yeah, it's a it's a vegetarian little uh, restaurant, so they'll have food and stuff like that. And nice, cool. Play now, vegetarian. Music, that's food. those are the ones that don't eat meat. Yeah, I oh, just making sure that's a whole other episode. But yes, they <laughs> okay. they choose. I've not heard to about that. Meat. I've heard about yes. that. Yes, right. It's not a myth. <laughs> but you don't have to be a vegetarian to play the music. No, there's no. Uh, you know, they're not going to test your blood. Or it probably okay. helps because you can actually have the strength to hold the instrument. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, Zion's the one right on Washington. No, it's uh, the one. I don't know where the. Yeah. Um, it's like a block off of Washington. Someone. No, it's the it's downtown. Um, oh, I'm thinking of something different. Where's that that sunglasses place or that glasses place where you? Oh, order? Ditto. Ditto. Yeah. It's right so it's over the by the. Okay. Um, so where Bruckens used to be. Yes. Um, yeah. That, oh, that, area. that weird yeah. little nice. Right, oh, okay. Gotcha. Area yeah. Where you turn yep, to go by, by Raven, Raven Tire. If right. You go straight on Fifth. Yes. Right. Fifth. Yeah. That's it's right. on Fifth Avenue. I Got guess. it. Got it. Perfect. We nailed it. Close to the Lloyd. Fifth. Yeah. Right Perfect. There. Yeah. Cool. And then mine is selfish, but at 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday, Tech on Tap is doing their Common Grounds event. It's a networking event, and they usually have someone that speaks for five minutes at 8 o'clock, and I am that person this week. Oh. So I'm talking about the podcast. It's at the Arts Council at Innovation Point. So show up and make fun of me. No, what are you you're just talking about doing it as a podcast or anything specific? Yeah, I'm going to probably just talk about what the podcast is and then answer questions. I think I'm just going to field questions. Cool. So it's going to be a complete opposite of the last time I talked about the podcast. <laughs> I got you. Which I just watched the other anxi- night. Anxiety ridden. But you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, well, agree to disagree. But. <laughs> so. <laughs> Feel that sixty degree air because oh, here it is Wednesday. Oh, sixty. Yeah. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna take my jacket off. Man, there are people. I didn't mean to say jacket off on your podcast. Sorry about hey, that. Well, um, you know. Anyway, everybody take a drink. All right, Adam, you go. You go. You go. <laughs> okay, where are we? <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, so this um, is kind of a local thing. It's not necessarily in Evansville, but it's a an art exhibition that's going on at St. Minerid. Arch Abbey in their gallery. They have a gallery in their library. Um, Is that Ferdinand? Yeah, it's up in Ferdinand. It's called Exhibit of Dimensional Art um, by a man named Curtis Eubler. And that runs from Wednesday, January 10th through February 20th. If you haven't been to St. Minard, it's a pretty neat um, campus just to walk around and check everything out. And then they got... And there's um, beer there too, right? Isn't there a brewery in there? Oh, I don't know. Aren't they doing bre- Aren't they brewing too? I thought so. Yeah, it goes along with yeah. uh, okay with the monk, the whole monk thing. Yeah, very cool. Right. Yeah, but yeah, they got uh, and it's there for a month. Yeah, it'll be there for yeah thirty days. Cool. So now you're more artsy than I am. Two D, three D works by this guy. So so what am I looking at? Is this um, canvas or am I looking at like 
Sculpture? What, what, what am I? It, it says um, he works with found or discarded objects or surplus bits and pieces to furnish wry commentary on social issues such as education or the environment. So just from seeing some of the preview stuff on yeah. online, it looks like he kind of almost like collages with things other than just paper. Oh. So like buttons and spoons. I don't know what. Like quote unquote trash art. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of one man's trash, another nice. man's art. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I've looks, seen some of that stuff. That's really cool. Looks looks pretty like a pretty neat exhibit, and it's a it's a a good excuse to kind of go see something yeah. that's not in Evansville that maybe you wouldn't normally go to. Yeah, uh, hashtag F E R events, Ferdinand events as well. Yes. Yeah, we can. It's covered in EVV. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a greater Evansville, <laughs> right? <laughs> hashtag G R E V V. Yeah. Grievances. Grievances. <laughs> Wait, that's the airing of the That really didn't work. <laughs> All right. And on Wednesday, I have, uh, this is an organiza- organizational meetup for a project that's happening, the Year of Hip Hop. I mean, this will be a PG at 7 p.m. And uh, from what I can tell, this is started by Charles Sutton, who is, he works at the library. He's a really cool guy. He did a TEDx talk the first year, I believe that Evansville uh, TEDx happened. And uh, this is, they're bringing together all of the hip hop musicians in the area to collaborate, make a mixtape about issues, opportunities, aspirations of Evansville. And so if you're interested in, in hip hop in the area, or you are a hip hop artist or just not sure if, if you're either, but you, you're interested, you know, come to PG and hang out and I'm sure they'd love to have you there. And then their goal is to put out the, this mixtape um, at the end of our work together on the mixtape. I'm not sure if it'll be out by the end of the month, but then I guess they're going to work for a show t- in February. So should be cool. And uh, Evansville, if you don't know, has a pretty good hip hop scene, actually. Yeah. You've hit on a few of them. Yeah. And on it's, the podcast. I've seen uh, a few of the shows and that's something. Interesting. And what time is that? That's uh, 7 p.m. at PG. Oh, so it's all night. 7 to 10. Th- yeah. Who knows how long they'll actually. Uh, talk. Wow. I guess it depends on how much, how interested everyone is and everything. But, but yeah, mine's not nearly as exciting. But it's <laughs> as could be. But could it's be. important. Yes. Go to the UE game. Oh gosh. Just please. go to the UE game. These guys are working hard. They just had a big win. They yeah. played seven. Strong. Defense. Said the Ford Center. You only get like sixteen of these a year. Just go. Have a drink at backstage or peephole before and go to the UE game. Seven o'clock. There's plenty of seats. Yeah. Go to it. But yeah, it's 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 a they're fun. They're playing time. really well. Yeah, and they do and they and they're 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 it's our division one basketball team. It's a local thing, it's it's awesome. Yep. They're do getting that. healthy, they're playing yeah. well, they're playing good. Set a big win on Saturday. Yeah. I agree. That's it. Cool. All right, Thursday night, speaking of basketball and the Ford Center. Oh, so you don't even no don't even want them to leave. Just stay no, in the just seat. stay. Why I would leave? When the Globetrotters, the freaking Harlem yeah. Globetrotters are in town. And this will be Kind of metal arc lemon just passed away the yeah. other day. So there'll so, be some I'm sure there'll be some tributes remembrances or, yeah, or something yeah. like that. And, and this it, is one where it's not cheap. Right. But it's it is a lot of fun. But this is an experience and the Globetrotters never uh disappoint. They're if you they're haven't done never it, lose. If you haven't done they, it, never lose. they never <laughs> lose, it's true. <laughs> Very true. But if you haven't done it once, you have to do it at some point. Just because it's it's still a lot of fun, and even if you think I remember it as a kid. You'll still enjoy it as an adult. Yeah. They're, it's impressive. They're, the skill is very impressive, even if they're, you can tell. Yeah. It's a very very loosely uh, reft game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just found out recently, I think he's in on it. What? <laughs> I don't want to give anything oh, away. Man. It's it's in all sports, I'm, football, <laughs> yeah. all of them. Jeez. I'm just glad they got off Gilligan's Island. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they was, no, it. nobody they, on the island could get off, but the Globetrotters did. Yeah, That's how good these off. people are. Yeah, <laughs> that is. They're so good. Okay, so Thursdays, every Thursday hmm. at five o'clock, the museum is free. Every single Thursday. Wow. But the second Thursday, the second Thursday of every month, family board game night too. So you get access to all the museum, see it all. They always have a rotating exhibit, so you should go every few times a year. Yeah. And you can go play with board games. You can bring your own. You can play theirs. They got all kinds of stuff. Take four guys. Play play a game of Monopoly. That takes too long. Don't play, play a game out. Yeah, don't play, <laughs> play play some Risk. Risk yeah. would be fun. Have you played? Uh, let's let's play Risk at the museum before the end of the year. Okay, 
I haven't played Risk. I've Battle never, Ship. I've never played game. it. <laughs> I've never played Risk in my life. I've never played Risk. If I have, it's been forever. Yeah, it's a little Conquest army yeah. game. Yeah, it's been a while. But they're putting money into that place. It's awesome. Oh yeah, the World War Two stuff is amazing. Yeah. So you, even if you don't play board games, that's the night to do it because you have that option. Well, and that that brings up a good point. A lot of people had the complaint when the museum did the upgrades that they started charging admission. So yeah, right. If, if you're one of the people that uh, doesn't want to pay to go, Thursday's a perfect opportunity to Boom. check it out. Right? Thursdays after yeah. rush hours, what it's called. So five p.m. It's yeah. free. Cool. Yep. Let's see. Then after. The museum, you can hop on down to Boca and see Stillwell and Roddenberg perform from 7 to 9.30. Now, I was kind of excited when I saw this event because back in the day, like I'm talking like 98, we used to, me and some buddies that I was in the band with, used to go to the jungle on the weekends and watch Stillwell, Stillwell and Roddenberg play. And that was uh, really? always a, a fond memory from that time. So I'll definitely be going down to check that out. Cool. Uh, what kind of music is that? I'm not. I'm trying to. I'm it's blanking on. Kind of like a, a bluesy. Oh, okay. Rock kind of. Yeah, I like bluesy rock. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Still, it's still water and still well and rot. Still water, still well. What are still, you saying? Still well and Rodenberg. Oh, okay. Rodenberg, yeah. Rodenberg. Very cool. Yeah. Cool. And that's where Boca. Yeah, yeah. that's at Boca. <laughs> Boca. Spoiler alert, they're going to get some love later, too. Yeah, Boca's, good. Boca's having a good <laughs> week. <Yeah>. Oh, <laughs> Boom, Friday. Is this me? It's Friday. Yeah. Okay, so Friday, it's perfect. Perfect, we're starting with me, because I'm going early morning. Uh, Sick Tech, the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center. EVSC opened the Sick Tech at 7.30. The Chamber Legislative Kickoff, Pancakes and Policy. So you got two hours to go eat some pancakes and meet your state representative senators, you're basically your state delegation. They're going to answer some questions, tell you what's coming up on the year. You can hit those people up, tell them what you want. People always want to know how they can impact their state, their community, their city. Mm-hmm. It's literally getting in these people's faces and tell them things that matter to them. That's what they go try to fight for is what the people want. Go get them when you can and eat some pancakes. It's not that hard. Yeah. Pancakes. You and like- you don't even have to care right. and you still get the pancakes. Yeah. He can sneak in, eat some cakes. And you could go there and right literally not not say a word to anybody and just eat pancakes. Yeah. So yeah, do that. Seven thirty to nine thirty at the Sick Tech, which is right by Carson's. Yep. So now that is on it's a Friday, facility too. which means if you wait from like nine thirty to eleven, you can just continue drinking at Carson's. <laughs> if you wanted to do that all right. day, if you wanted to eat pancakes and then go drink, that's an option. Sure, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but definitely go do that. It's really, I mean, honestly, these guys pepper them with questions. Find out who you agree with, who you disagree with. Get involved. Do it. That's it. Yep. Guys and gals, I should say. That came out very sexist. Sorry. I think you'll be all right. <laughs> so Friday at Gamut Gallery, they're having an opening reception for Jonathan Hitner's exhibition, which is titled Neck Deep in the Shallow End, which that's a pretty neat uh title i think so i'm curious to kind of see his artwork i've not heard of him um so i don't know necessarily if he's a local artist or if he's uh from somewhere other than evansville but the event is free and open to the public and if you haven't been to gamut gallery it's a it's a neat little addition to our town and it's over on the east side off green river road by pangea mm-hmm. like in that same complex yeah, yeah. like two doors down from pangea really? It's cool. pretty recent, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd say within like the last six months, probably they opened. Mm-hmm. Gamut Gallery. Yep. And this is uh, who was it? Jonathan Hitner. Jonathan Hitner from Neck five Deep in the Shallow End. Midget art. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. That's not what it is. If it is what it is, that's that's. But you it's know, not necessarily what it is. Midget is as bad as saying the N word. Yeah, Mulaney. <laughs> you know, anytime you're <laughs> comparing the, the badness word. of two words, the word you won't say, that's the worst word. Right. Oh, man. Uh, copyright issues with yeah. repeating a comic? No, that's uh, everyone go check out John Mulaney, New in Town on Netflix for all the other jokes. That he's amazing. Yeah. Just watched it again uh, for the millionth time. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, also, Boca. Boca number two. Boca number two. Wow. At 6 p.m. is the, an art or a reception, art reception there. 
the artist of the month, uh, Who Knew Art, which is Kurt Payne. He is going to have his art on display all month, but uh, tomorrow is the reception for it. So he's got really cool stuff. He does uh, pop culture uh, pictures. We have the uh, Pulp Fiction uh, oh, that's him. painting. That yeah, that's done. cool. Yes. That is it's, good stuff. It's cool. Yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll pick up another couple things. He does a lot of good uh, Game of Thrones stuff. So if you're into Game of Thrones, then you definitely need to check it out there. So Yeah. Yeah. Boca, man. Yeah, Boca. Mike, does Mike Millard know your address to send the check to? Or? I mean, I'm hoping for some free passes. That's all I know. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> cover some cover charges. Yeah. I like that. So Saturday morning, uh, kind of piggybacking on one of Corey's events, there's another Meet Your Legislator event at the Evansville Public Library. Central Library from... Is there a pancakes at this one? Uh, it doesn't say anything about pancakes. <laughs> It's hosted by the League of Women Voters of Southwestern Indiana. So, nice. Um, I'm not sure if there'll be pancakes. If not, though, you should still go if you're not able to make sure. it Friday right. during the day. Like I work, you know, like an average day job, so I can't ever make any morning stuff. Morning stuff. Yeah. So I may have to go Saturday morning to the public library from 9:15 a.m., which is kind of a weird start time, yeah. to 11:30. So hmm. that's it. And then the other thing. I want to mention for Saturday, because, you know, the weekends are usually pretty busy, so there there might be more than one or two events. <laughs> and this one's happening later in the afternoon. Um, Holly Dunn Pendleton has written a book about her experience. Um, it's called Soul Survivor. And it's the hometown launch, and it's going to be at Barnes & Noble from 2 to 4. Which is a tragic story. It's a, Yeah, it's, it's a terrible something, story. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's something that... It's not a fun read, I'm sure, but it's it's. I'm guessing she poured a lot of herself into this. It's probably, probably really impressive. But like like a lot of bad events, at least something good came out of it with Holly's house. Yeah, Holly's mm-hmm. Holly's so, done amazing. That that's yeah. great. Was that a pun? Holly's done oh, amazing. Gosh, I guess I've done amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's great that she was able to take that that horrible event and and yeah, no, turn that into for something sure. good. So yeah, just go out and. Um, buy her book. Yeah, yeah these are the people that we need to be supporting. This is yeah. this is good stuff. She's doing good things. I I yeah, that's I'm glad you brought that up. That's good. All right. Speaking of pancakes. Oh, more pancakes. <laughs> Eight a.m. to eleven a.m. at the Eastminster Presbyterian Church. They're having a pancake breakfast for the Evansville Civic Theater. Aaron, I know that. I assume we're all civic theater fans here. Yeah, yeah, I've been. I mean, yes. yeah. went to the World War II Radio Christmas this oh, year. How was that? Oh, it was good. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. neat. Great. Kevin Roach has been on the pod. Kevin's awesome. Yeah, he's he's in charge. Over Does there. a good job. Yeah, but they're raising money for it over at the Eastminster Presbyterian Church. Eat some pancakes again. You know, there's one thing this podcast, this thing, this EVV ends is going to do. It's yeah. going to tell you all the times you can eat pancakes. I think that's what we got. We got at <laughs> least we promised to find uh, every pancake but breakfast. You can we you can you can sneak probably sneak a pancake. I'm guessing. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's happening, and from, that's a fundraiser. That's a fundraiser for the Civic Theater, so yeah. it's a it's important thing too. And Just community theater, yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's solely run on on dollars from sponsors and things like this. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because so, yeah. it's reasonable tickets whenever they put on a Correct. show for sure. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my Saturday is something that's uh, I, I'm in heavily involved in, so I really, I really, we put a lot of work into it. It's our big Tri-State Hot Stove League Night of Memories at 4-H Center. Um, essentially, we have an autograph session. We have uh, this year we have Bob Gibson, Cardinals Hall of Famer, Tony La Russa, Rick Ankeel, obviously Don Mattingly's always there. Bob Greasy's always there. Jared Eikhoff now playing for the Phillies, modern day kid. He's there. Basically, we have. An autograph session by day. Then we have a reception uh, at night at the 4-H, like I said. Uh, I think it's like 20 bucks to get in. But you, you, well, there's this roundtable discussion. It's like an hour long. And they just talk and tell stories. And it's wonderful. There's an auction, silent auction. There's beer. We raise about one hundred to $125,000 that night. We give all that money back to youth sports in the area. We have a scholarship that we do. Uh, so basically all this money is geared towards youth, towards youth sports. Some other organizations benefit as well. But yeah, every dollar we we raise, we donate. It's a fun event. If you haven't been, it's worth it just to go hear that roundtable. There's if you like sports, go there. There's going to be neat auction items too that are always really unique. 
Super Bowl tickets we auction off. Those always go really high. Pretty neat event. And uh, yeah, happens every year this weekend. Cool. So, And how much did you say you raise? Typically? About 100 grand a night on that night. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the... We've had some high ones. We've had some low ones. But sure. we average about 100,000 of that on that night every year. And then, like I said, that all goes... Kind of cover our costs and then pay it all back out. That's awesome. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Covers your salary of... a. uh 80,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, strictly volunteer. Everybody. We don't have, it's a, it's a nonprofit that does not hire a single person. It's every, all the people involved are old athletic types in town, coaches, things like yep. that. So, uh, yeah, it's a big night. Cool. Come on. And, you know, Bob Gibson. That's, yeah, Bob Gibson's a big deal. That's a big deal. Tony, he, we, and he's actually been here before. We had him four or five years ago. LaRousse is new. We've not had Tony. Yeah, um, say that's a big one too. And Rick and Keel's kind of a neat story. Yeah. For those who aren't really sports inclined, he had kind of like a mental block as a pitcher, mm-hmm. literally stopped pitching, returned as a hitter, which is unheard of. Yep. And he's written a book about it now. So I'm guessing you can probably buy that there. I would think so, yes. I'm not sure though. He'll have a merch table probably. Um, there's not necessarily merch. They do sell some stuff at the autograph session. In case you come there wanting an autograph, you don't have a thing. Yeah. But at the night, it's mostly just auction stuff. There's not a lot of, like, buy neat things there. But you're hobnobbing with, like, large athlete types. Right. So. Just like every day. No, I mean, like, <laughs> there's not a lot of Hall of Famers walking around Evansville all the time. This is very true. So. And there's a lot that's going to be there. All right. Sunday. Is this is me. Uh, yeah. Go Seven for it. days. Go you for started. It. Yeah. Go for you know, it. Doing while you're being selfish. I want to. Um, uh, next time I'm doing it. Sundays. I want to get this out of the way because Mike Millard. We're blowing Mike Millard's stuff up. Sunday jazz. It's one of the coolest things in Evansville. Oh yeah. Sunday jazz so is good. awesome. So two thirty, and uh, if, I I did not even write down who's playing because I don't care. It's awesome. Go to it. I do think Monty Skelton's going to be involved though somehow. I hope so. Did I see that? Uh, I don't know. Anybody else look at that? I, I feel know. bad. I just wrote it down because uh, that's the first thing I wrote down is Sunday Jazz. Sunday Jazz is awesome. Stop in there. Even if you just have one drink and listen, it's there. everybody's always great. The, yeah, Jazz is another thing that's really good in, in the town. Yeah, it's they always have good stuff. It's amazing. So, yeah, Boca Lounge, 2.30. We, I promise I will not do a Boca thing at a protest next time, but this week, hit go to Boca a lot. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. That's funny how that, that kind of worked out. But Yeah. It'd be the Keith Farney Jazz Collective featuring Monty Skelton. Monty so, Skelton do you know Keith Farney? I do not. But anytime Monty Skelton's involved. Monty's good. good. Monty is good. I'm always, always down for that. Okay. That's all. That's my week. Now yeah. I get to hear about yours. And- Adam, what you got? I've got uh, Seinfeld Trivia Night at Tin Man. Oh, man. Seinfeld Trivia. I like that, too. Which Gold, uh, Jerry. Gold. <laughs> it's gold. I'm, I'm, wa- I'm re-watching Seinfeld now, so I'm, mm. I'm kind of fresh on some of my yeah. uh, knowledge. Can't stand you. Can't. <laughs> yeah, we just watched that one last week. It was a good one. Yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah I love Seinfeld. Love yeah, so it. But I'm not at that as good a trivia as I thought. I went to one of these once and I tanked. Oh gosh, I thought I knew friend, the show Friends a little bit, and then I set in with Zach Parsons it was a freak with oh. the <laughs> Friends trivia. It Why was yeah. not surprise me. It was amazing. It was like I don't even know what's going on right now. Yeah, these Tin Man uh, theme trivia's are pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Susan does a good job. Shout out to Susan Fetcher who's rocking and rolling on those. Yeah, so that's Sunday, January 14th, 2.30 p.m., Tin Man, Seinfeld nice. Trivia. 2.30, and I think it costs money. I think it's like five bucks. Yeah, it's yeah, it's $3 bucks. a person. $3, okay. Up to six people. So most trivias are free, but I think they give this back in prizes. Is that right? I believe so, yeah. I think it's First like place cash. gets cash prize, second yeah, okay. gets a that's gift what card I thought. Tin Man. Yeah. So yeah, it's not just a pay-to-play. You get to win that back. Yeah. Yep. So there's there's some stakes. Get your money where your Seinfeld is. It's the uh, the contest, as they say. Yeah, I'm out, Terry. <laughs> uh, yes, and mine is odd. It's the uh, 1 p.m., 6 p.m. bassoon day at UE. Bassoon day. Yes, the bassoon, which the is the instrument. The instrument, the woodwind instrument, bassoon, very large-looking clarinet. 
let's say, with the weird yeah, uh, it's got mouth the weird long thing. Yeah. reed. Okay. Is that yes. a reed? It's got a reed that pit in a little. Yeah. So the bassoon. They're having bassoon day. So <laughs> if you have a bassoon, you should get a hold of Dr. Edwin Lacey at el2 at evansville.edu. <laughs> Evansville, let's, I'm just going to say this. Uh, UE's email address is not great. Uh, you don't, don't love know. that system? I do not love their system. Uh, anyways. It's neat, though, because <laughs> you have it forever. Yeah. And you know where you fell in line. I guess so. Like you'd have been JB190. Right. You'd know you were the 190th JB to come just, to UE. I don't know. There's something. I don't know. That's not a great system. <laughs> anyways, the, uh, there will be some uh, clinics held. There will be some... Uh, professional freelance And you have bassoonists. to have your own bassoon? I am assuming so. There will be a recital, so you don't necessarily have to. I guess you can just go and listen yeah. to the beautiful bassoons. But yeah. That's and a, do they do this randomly with different instruments? I have no idea. I, it, oh, and it will be uh, the the uh, uh, one of the Evansville Philharmonic uh, members. Mr. Probably the bassoonist. Ron Tucker. He is the former principal bassoonist of the Owensboro oh. Orchestra. So, I don't know that I've heard a bassoon hmm. on its own. Yeah, have you? Uh, it's been a long time, but I yeah I did because I was in band in, oh. in high school for a year. I see. And uh, maybe is it? I guess this has got like a baritone bass. Yeah, it's sound? deepy, but it's it's kind of like a like a mix between a oboe and a clarinet, but really bassy. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just, Perfect explanation. I'm just, making, I'm just making that stuff. No, I don't know. Yeah, it, I was hoping you were going to say it's, it's, like a, it's like a boat horn. Yeah, it's basically. It's, <laughs> it's the fart noise on old cartoons. That's exactly right. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. So that's 21 things. And the cool thing is, and we were talking about this off air, we all made our lists and did not, we didn't have the same thing. Right. So there's stuff to do. We probably didn't even find some things. Oh, gosh, I hope we no. get some angry people that we didn't talk about their event. I know there's things down there that we didn't that we didn't hit, but screw those guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, do not go to their event. <laughs> go to the ones we told. These are better. Offici- these are officially endorsed events. No, I figured some of the, some things that are out there everyone knows about. And there's, I mean, why would sure. we talk about? Well, that? sometimes we'll hit on those. Yeah, but like, but not this week. This week there were things that I'm like people need to know about these. Yeah, things. these things need told. Yep. Go to them. Support people, which I know you believe in. Yeah. You talked about a TED talk about it. I'll share that with everyone. I talk a lot of things. So, all right, cool. I got to go back to work, guys. That's great, well, good job, everyone. <laughs> Events. Events. <laughs> all right. Good job, everybody.